with you was just a kind of a message really of hope because you know the when we're talking that we're so overpowered really by yes. the task ahead of us. That was one of the things that came up with us very, very early on when we were founding Silent Voices. And an analogy that I heard and would throw out is if you think back to the conversation, say twenty years ago around mental health, but those early people years ago who were talking about their own mental health were extraordinarily brave. Mm. It wasn't an easy environment. And because the conversation around mental health has become so much easier, we forget how hard it was twenty years ago to even say mm. to somebody that I even in private I actually, you know, suffer from depression. So that's the only thing I've told out. We're in we're in very early days and we just hold on to that. Mm. And it was all these little things, like you couldn't have imagined a group coming together and being as open as people have been. No. You really couldn't. And it's really to try and maybe bring that and be able to bring it. Maybe, you know, you might be in a situation, in a person situation, even by disclosing a great by you disclosing that my father drank a lot. I'm quite sure you got a huge reaction by that. And yeah. Those come from that. Well, it was the tension yeah. thing that I think people yeah. resonated with people. Yeah. So it's those. It's. I think yeah. We just have to hold on to that. That you know. The, the mm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I because I don't. Uh, I, there's there's lovely hope here. I'm just um. <laughs> <laughs> I just warm my hands. I'm going to warm my hands on the hope. Carol. Oh, sorry. There's, I'll, I'll get to you at the top. Carol. Carol. So that was Barbara. This is Carol. Yes. Carol. There's the 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 threesome. Yeah. 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 All this trauma for us happened when we were children, and it still is with us, even though some of us have come to understand it and have insight and whatever. Um, but we, we recognize it. Um, but there are seven facts that I think I can, I can speak to at, at this point in time. One of, this, one of those is the impact of early trauma um, on a child. And growing up with parental problem, alcohol use is trauma. And it is recognized as an ACE. That's an adverse childhood experience. Mm -hmm. It's a different language. And Benjamin Parks, an American uh, writer, said that, that ACE research done in 1998 has provided many people with the vocabulary to contextualize and discuss what actually happened to them in, the, in, their, in their childhood. And to build their own identity as survivors. So I think this is important. There is the minus and then there's also the plus. Second point I'd like to make, a second point, second fact is that parental problem alcohol use is often accompanied by other um, ACEs, like domestic violence, domestic abuse, neglect, all the rest of it. Chaos. is rights. They have rights to grow up, to survive, to develop to be able to do so physically, emotionally, psychologically, and developmentally, and to reach their, attain their future potential. Fourthly, I will come to a point. Fourthly, fourth point is the exposure to PPAU and domestic, uh, uh, um, domestic abuse is a child protection issue. And if childhood trauma, the fifth one, if childhood trauma is not addressed early, this hidden harm is going to continue into adulthood and a child will not reach his or her potential. Mm -hmm. Six point, we know that many children living with and experiencing a parental problem alcohol use and domestic violence are not on anybody's radar. To this day, they're not on anybody's radar, unless they're with TUSLA or they're, they're accessing social services or whatever, or they're brought in as a member of the family therapies done by their eyes. So we know that children are victims in their own right. So what can we do? And, and how do we rectify this known child protection issue? I'm focusing on the children for this purpose. Children need early intervention to mitigate those childhood uh, traumas. And one way is to implement a program called Operation Encompass. This program is not in Ireland. It's in Northern Ireland, it's in Britain, but it's not in Ireland. And it's a collaboration between the police and the schools and the police will attend a domestic violence incident in a home, and the next day, before the school starts, the police contact the key adult in the school to alert them that the child has experienced domestic abuse, or domestic violence, whatever it may be. And, and um, 
the key adult in the school is given a, a rough idea of the circumstances of what has happened the night before, which has rendered the child absolutely traumatized, speechless, whatever. They come to school with no, no and not having had breakfast. Um, and the, the student is then met with, with support and kindness. And the child is on a professional's radar for the first time. A child mm -hmm. who is not, who has not, in, in Tuxla, who is not uh, accessing any services. So on Tuesday, Professor Geoffrey Shannon spoke about the chaos witnessed um, by Ngarla Shekona, which is involving children, which is documented on the pulse system. We have this information. And that chaos is there, unaddressed. Nothing happens to that information. So knowing these seven facts that I've outlined to you, if we do nothing, nothing for children impacted in this way, we are discriminating against them. And we as a society are complicit and active participants as we stand by, knowing what we know now, because we know so much today, than we ever knew before about the impact of, of growing up with this, this unpredictable behaviour that gives rise to the toxic stress. Mm. This unpredictable behaviour. It's, it's even better than certainty. Um, we need Operation Encompass here. It's in the north. Our children are no different, and we don't have it. And, and for children impacted, they need to know that they're not alone. There is support, there is kindness, because this, the, I, I, brought the, I brought the six things from Nakoa. The child must know, the child, you're not alone. Remember the six C's. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, I can't cure it, but I can take care of myself, I can communicate my feelings, and I can make healthy choices. There is hope. We're, inside of Voices, we're trying to each in our different way with our different different interests for this project are coming at it and we're coming at it from the different perspectives I'm coming at it from the trials. Thanks Carol. Thank you very much. Thank you.